Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be testing the Aston Martin Valhalla at Golden Max in its multiplayer season in Asphalt 9 at rank 4521. This is the new big A-class car. It's got great acceleration, the best top speed of all class A, and its handling feels very light, and yet the car feels fairly stable all at the same time. It's one of the most fun cars in the game that I have really ever driven. Its only real downside, I would say, is that it's nitro efficiency is only average, but it is still not bad, and you're not really going to notice a ton of issues with it throughout your races. So before I get too much into this, I'd like to talk about something from my previous video. You may have noticed at the beginning of the video that I had quite a lot of tokens, a lot more than I had in my previous video. I have not spent any money on the game, and I still do not plan to. Let me explain. So about a year ago, Gameloft came out with the creator program for Asphalt 9, where people could submit applications to join this creator program to get special perks, to be able to get assets using their videos and things like that. But something else was that they would get special things within the game once they hit a certain amount of subscribers, or once they hit a certain amount of views on one of their videos. The thing is, they never actually did those things. So recently they began rolling those out to members of the influencer program, and so that is where I got that number of tokens from. And I am planning to use them, a lot of them at least, to start up this car here, because it is most likely going Going to be one of the best and most useful cars we will get in this game for a while. We just got a new S-Class King, so I don't expect to see one of those anytime soon, probably not within the next year or so, given that there was about a year in between when the Yesco came out and when the Tuatar came out, and this car is pretty much the new King of Class A, so there's not really much else that would be a better thing to spend your tokens on. At least that is sort of how I am thinking about it at this time. I'm not going to like spend all of my tokens on this car, so but I'm definitely going to try to start up to at least four stars, I think. Currently, I've got it to three stars, and I ran out of money, sort of, because it is rather expensive to upgrade. That's one thing they did in the most recent update that I'm not exactly too keen on. They raised the upgrade prices again on some cars. Now, thankfully, they did come out with the new credit events recently, which, in my opinion, are better than the previous ones, because you only really have one event to play rather than a bunch of them. And honestly, I've just been doing basically a six star car because you can get most of the good rewards in it just by using a six star car, especially if you have been running through your event tickets in the multiple special events going on or in just other events like the car hunt, which there was one that came out recently, the Porsche GT1 Evolution, which I don't think was one that people expected, but honestly it's not too bad because while the car itself isn't great, it's true that probably not a lot of people got it before. I have one video up on my channel about it, which was Asphalt 89 racing it at one star I think it was but yeah like probably hardly anybody has it and so I'm kind of glad to see it come just so more people can get the car I'm going to try to unlock it I'm not going to be trying to start up a bunch because that would just be way too many races to play to start up a car that I'm never going to use again but I would like to unlock it because I guess it's just always nice to have more cars in the game so how are these special events going for me well as you can see I unlocked the Valhalla so I was able to get to 250 conditions in the special event, but that was only barely. Like, I was literally scraping through the Legend Store trying to buy more blueprints for the DBS to get it from 3 to 4 star, otherwise I would have been stuck at like 247 conditions. Thankfully I was able to do it. It seems like during the special event, the DBS and the Aston Martin GT12 have been very popular in the Legend Store for credits. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> but yeah, you will need at least one of those two cards at four stars if you want to get to that many conditions if you don't have the new Jaguar startup a lot and I have just unlocked it here we almost pass RPM Flamingo at the last second but we do beat some other good players in that race and now we're moving on to a race on Nile River as you guys will probably know by this point because I said it many times it is one of my favorite tracks in the game to play on so a lot of people have been asking me recently if I'm going to try out the new track that has come to Asphalt 8 because most of you guys probably know a new 
new track called Terra 9 has come recently to that game. The thing is, it has not actually come out, the update, on Windows yet at all. It came out for iOS and Android a few days ago at the time of recording this, but as of right now, it is not out in the store. So I'll definitely download that whenever it comes out. I plan to try out it on my channel as I plan to try out any new, like, especially cool thing that comes to Asphalt 8. But honestly, at this point, I'm not really even thinking I'm going to make specific update videos, only really if there is something cool or new in the game other than just a few new cars or some other terrible changes, because, I don't know, like, it's getting to the point where I'm even struggling to find all the information about the new updates because the game has just died off so much. But all that to say, while I won't be returning to the game, I will be definitely trying out the track because it does look really cool, kind of like a combination of Sector 8 and Rio de Janeiro and Dubai and Munich and a bunch of other tracks, and it just looks very futuristic and cool. And there's also a bunch of new music in the game, which I kind of wish they would add to Asphalt 9 too, because Asphalt 9 does have some good music, and granted, I keep it off since I record these videos, and I don't want to copyright strike, although in the influencer program, they say that we won't get copyright striked for the songs in the game. I just like to be careful, but in any case, it would be kind of cool to have new music. I almost wish they would just take the music that they had in Asphalt Extreme and bring it into Asphalt 9, because Asphalt Extreme, while it wasn't necessarily my favorite game, the music in that was extremely good, and so I would like to hear it more, really. We've got a seven-player race here. Most of the races that I played in this season before I got to Elite League were quite populated, because I think a lot of people were excited to try out this car, and once they realized just how fun it was to drive compared to some of the previous Max Free Try multiplayer events, like with the Bentley and the C7R, I kind of shudder thinking about those. They wanted to keep on playing it because, yes, this is definitely one of the best cars that we've gotten in the game for a while, and I would definitely recommend that if you have saved up your tokens, at least try to unlock this car. Even if you plan to go for the McLaren F1 LM over this car, which I understand is going to be this new super fast B-Class car, this is probably at least still a good one to unlock. So we had a very close race with RPM Freeze in the previous one, and now we have a close race on Shanghai against Pro Team Cortex. Had a ton of really good races in this season, and in this video are some of the very best ones. The Bentley Special Event, the Grand Prix, is pretty much just a rerun of the C7R1 for me, where I'm just simply not doing very good in it because I don't want to spend any tokens on this car because it is even worse than the C7R, so what I'm going to do is just try to see what position I can come and still try to get the highest position that I can because I am in Tier 1. Top 10 will get the car, but I don't think I will end up in Top 10, so let's see if I get the same luck in packs as I did with the C7R. Although, I don't really think that I will. I wouldn't be particularly disappointed if I didn't because that's not a particularly useful Grand Prix car for me to get. Cortex took the slightly shorter way if you're in a very agile car off to the right there. I've done that sometimes, but it's been a little bit unreliable to me, especially the final turn going around there, where if you don't do it right, you will lose a lot of speed on the grass and therefore might end up being slower. But he did it very well. Nearly passed me at the end there, but thankfully I was able to pull it out. And now we have, again, another very close race on Nile River again against RPM Big G. So you guys may have noticed that I have gone down down from doing three videos a week to doing two videos a week for the most part. That's because I've gotten into college. I'm about three to four months into my sophomore year, and I have a bigger workload than I even did in the previous two semesters. So that is why the videos are slightly less. I'm not going to dip below two videos a week. I'm going to at least continue to try to do that throughout the pretty much entire time that I do YouTube, at least for the foreseeable future. So you don't have to worry about me going anywhere. I'll always still try to take time no matter where I am in life to make some good videos for you guys on this channel. I want to be as consistent as I possibly can. So before we end the video, or before the final race, I guess, we're not right to the end of the video yet, I would like to say a couple other things about this car and things that you should do with it once you get it. Now, you can get 200 tokens just by unlocking this car, by playing in the daily event for this car that has a bunch of other cars in it as well, which you should play all because they all give like 100 tokens apiece, which is pretty good. You can get over a thousand tokens in there, I believe. And also, in the special event, in one of the later stages, 
they give different rewards for different star levels for this car. These include 250 tokens for one star, 750 tokens on top of that for two star, and 1,500,000 tokens for three star, all of which I've gotten since I three starred the car, but just if you get this car, don't forget about those. Also, you have to have this car at two stars if you want to play the final stage for it, and so if you do unlock it, probably trying to two star it as well would likely be a good idea. Because not only will this already very good car be even better, you'll also be able to get back even more from it, like 500,000 credits and 300 tokens and an epic import bar for this car, I think, for coming in the top 25% there. That's sort of what I'm going to be aiming for. You get a million credits and 500 tokens for coming in top 1%, but I'm pretty sure most people aren't going to be able to get that unless they have like a 5 star or above car, and it's probably even worse on Android. So now for my final thoughts on this car, my general review of it. It's the new A-Class King, as far as I know. I've seen some tests against it and the Tech Rules 1896, which is one of the best Class A cars. Maybe not the very best, but the Valhalla beat it by about a second in general on the tracks. So it's definitely a good one to go for. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!